Hello, students. This is your professor, Dr. Mink. Welcome to my online CSC 111 Introduction to Programming class. I've been, a little bit about myself, I've been teaching at the college since September 1989. And although I'm not a mind reader, I can tell what you're thinking right now. This guy's old. Well, maybe, maybe not. I uh, was very young when I started at the college, and I still consider myself young, at least young at heart. So I think I have a, an above average sense of humor. Um, however, this class is unusual in that you and I may never meet in person. Uh, that does not mean we're not going to be interacting significantly. In fact, on some days, on some weeks, we may interact more in this class than you do with a professor in a traditional class. So with that said, each week you have to review a series of audio lectures. And in addition to those audio lectures, I'm going to ask that you complete some online homework assignments, which is um, uh, signed in my programming lab. That's the uh, online supplement that you received. The green, I believe it's a green envelope with an access tab. Uh, I'm going to post a lot of online tutorials um, that you should have completed already, and I'll give you hints and help you with them. And you're going to complete and submit hands-on programming exercises in Visual Basic. That will be the core competency of this particular class. So one thing I ask you is, um, if you are struggling or you have questions, you need to reach out to me. This is a unique environment in that I can't look at your eye, look in your eyes and see a puzzled look as I can in the classroom. And as, as I mentioned earlier, I have years of experience in doing that. And can I, you can usually tell face to face when a student doesn't get it and I'll stop and pause. But in this environment, you have to assume responsibility for letting me know. I am the most satisfied employee at Camden County College. I love my job. I can't imagine doing anything else. I really enjoy working with students. I teach online because I want to stay up with um, current pedagogy and online is a, it's a emerging trend, let's say. But I really struggle when students don't tell me that they're having problems until it's too late, especially in an online class. So I'm going to ask you to reach out to me if you get behind, you're having problems. Uh, I will work with you. I no longer have young children at home. I'm not rushing to get out of the office and go home and tend to other things. I have tons of time to commit to my uh, professor responsibilities. And that means I have tons of time to commit to you and I enjoy doing it. So you have to let me know if you're having a problem and I'll help you, okay? Promise? Okay, I think I heard yes. Okay, let's move forward. Here is my traditional contact information. Uh, my office telephone number, I'm hardly ever in my office. So the best way to reach me during this class is to use the mail function within web study. And we'll cover that later. I mean, if for some reason you feel the need to email me using traditional email, wmink at camdencc.edu is my email address. Obviously I have a smartphone that I'm um, very adept at using. So, I get emails all the time. And during this class, please know that I will be obsessively checking the web study um, interface, looking for students who need help. And I pretty much will be on task seven days a week. Uh, I will check this on Saturdays and Sundays. I may go, you know, I may be gone for two or three hours on a Saturday night to go to a movie with my wife but 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 for the most part you will get a very quick response from me from whatever 
method you choose to contact me, except for my office hours. I'm not in my office. Every day I teach at multiple campuses and my office is in Blackwood. So that should be your last resort to contact me. Email me. Even if you need to speak live with me, email me and send me your phone number and I will call you. The most efficient way of contacting me during this class is to use the web study mail function. Uh, this is a uh, web study portal mail function. It doesn't go to my camdencc.edu email address. And it allows me to keep a record and to organize all the messages, requests, questions, etc., that I've received from students. So I'm going to ask that you use this as the first point of contact for me in this class. And um, I promise you I will be uh, very diligent in responding to mail messages sent through this. Now, obviously, I do sleep, you know, six, seven hours a night. So if you email me or if you send me a mail message through Web Study Mail at three o'clock in the morning, um, I'm most likely not going to respond within two hours, uh, which is usually my goal during the day. OK, thanks. Here is a screen print of one of the timeline sessions. And I have a blue arrow pointing to the audio lecture. All of my audio lectures are hosted on YouTube to make it convenient for you. And I'd be surprised if any of you have any problems playing YouTube videos. Um, they're universally uh, available and easy to play on almost any device, including phones, smartphones, and laptops, and notebooks, and tablets. Whatever you have, it should work. But if you have any problems, of course, let me know. Please note that every one of these audio lectures has an audio track. So if you're not hearing my voice associated with uh, or along with the, the audio lecture, you've got a problem, so you need to stop, troubleshoot that. And of course, let me know if, you, if you're having problems, and I'll help you. All of the required assignments, lectures, and support material are included in the Timeline tab. The Timeline tab is your roadmap to this course. When you start the course, go right to the Timeline tab, which I have uh, circled in red, and then sequentially follow the links that I've set up. Their order is there to help guide you through the course. Do not skip things. You'll get lost. One of the most significant problems students have in an online class is they jump around and they don't follow the directions in a linear fashion. Now, obviously, the first timeline session is going to have significantly more materials than the rest. And this will remain open the entire time for the course. You'll see um, a general questions and answer form. That is for student to student interaction. You can go out and say, hey, where did you buy your book? Or I paid, think I paid too much for my book. Or do you want to meet down at the Blackwood campus and talk about project number three? Whatever you want to do, that is your, that is your forum for student to student interaction. It will remain open and in the first timeline session throughout the entire course.